Negligent suits involving emotional distress without physical harm used to be disfavored. However, most courts eventually allowed recovery for pure emotional distress in claims for negligent infliction of emotional distress, or NIED. NIED is a controversial tort, and the applicable rules vary from state to state. Decisions involving NIED often involve gruesome facts, and the facts of Catron v. Lewis are no exception. Galen L. Catron owned a motorboat and took his daughter's two friends boating on a lake in western Nebraska. During the excursion, the friends went tubing. Catron situated each friend in an inflatable ring, tethered the rings to the boat with ropes, and towed the friends 61 feet behind the boat. After making two counterclockwise loops around the lake, Catron began towing the tubers back to shore. As his boat turned, Catron noticed two jet skis about 75 yards away and traveling directly toward his boat at upwards of 40 miles per hour. Catron wasn't alarmed and assumed the jet skiers would take evasive action. As Catron and the tubers continued shoreward, the jet skiers turned away from the boat and toward the tubers. The jet ski, driven by Skylar L. Panic and owned by Marvin R. Lewis, collided with tuber Samantha Radar. From a distance of about 61 feet, Catron witnessed the accident and observed Radar floating in a pool of blood. Radar died. Catron was then diagnosed with a number of mood disorders, including post-traumatic stress disorder. His mental health condition led to a three-month absence from work. Catron sued Lewis, Panic, and others in a Nebraska trial court to recover for the emotional harm caused by witnessing Radar's death. Lewis and Panic moved for summary judgment, and Catron conceded that he and Radar didn't have a close relationship. The trial judge granted the motion, and Catron appealed to the Nebraska Supreme Court.